Hello, and welcome to JXJ Aviation. In this video, we will be looking at leading edge slats on an aircraft and its influence on the critical angle of attack. First, let's understand what are slats. Slats are secondary flight control surfaces which are installed on the leading edge of an aircraft's wing. The slats extend forward and downward from the wing. The primary function of the slats is to enhance lift and delay an aircraft stall during low-speed operations such as during takeoff, climb, approach, and landing. Now let's look at the different types of slats. The different types of slats. Fixed slats. These slats are also known as slots. They remain permanently extended and cannot be moved by the pilot. These slats create additional drag during cruise, which affects the wing's efficiency. Automatic slats. These slats extend automatically, depending on the airflow around the wing. Springs loaded within the slats force them to extend automatically when the angle of attack increases. The pilot has no control of the slat extension or retraction. Powered slats. These slats use an electric motor or hydraulic pumps for extension and retraction. The extension and retraction of the slats can be controlled by pilots along with the flaps. Modern aircraft have this type of slats installed since they are more efficient when compared to the other types of slats. Let's look at why slats are required in an aircraft. Why are slats installed? First, let's consider the slats are retracted completely and are flush with the wing surface. The wings generate lift by creating a pressure difference over the top and bottom surface of the wing. When the angle of attack is increased, the lift also increases. Angle of attack is the angle between the cord line and the oncoming wind. If the angle of attack is increased, it reaches an angle called the critical angle of attack. Beyond this angle, the flow separates from the top surface of the wing, causing the aircraft to stall, which means there is a sudden, drastic decrease in the lift. When the slats are extended, there is a small increase in the wing area and the camber. This does not have a significant impact on the lift. When the angle of attack is increased, the high-pressure air under the wing flows through the gap between the slats and the wing. This increases the energy of the airflow over the top surface, which delays flow separation. This means, with the slats extended, the critical angle of attack is increased. So the aircraft can fly at a greater angle of attack. Let's understand this further on a graph. Let's plot a graph between the angle of attack and the lift coefficient. When the slats are retracted, the lift increases with an increase in the angle of attack till it reaches the critical angle of attack. Beyond this angle, the wing stalls. If the slats are extended, the lift again increases with the angle of attack. But the wing will stall at a greater angle of attack. This means the critical angle of attack has increased. That's all for my video on the slats installed on an aircraft wing and the critical angle of attack. Thank you for watching. If you liked the video, please share and subscribe. And you can continue watching some of my other videos as well.